to this video. This video will show you how to use CAD to Acon CNC. Well, uh, the first thing you have to have is a drawing. So you draw it, you convert it with this program, and then you run it in Acon CNC. So I'll show you the drawing. This is a uh, this is set up for that drawing. This is the drawing. As you can see here, there's a black line and a red line. This red line is uh, just uh, arc lines and, uh, well, just arcs and lines. Up here is what uh, CAD to uh, Acorn CNC reads. It's a polyline, one complete pass. So you can, I, I added this by uh, doing the mirror. All I did was go to modify and mirror it, and then I exploded it. Down here is that there's an exploded. Well, I can't move it up. Well, anyways, you explode this so that uh, CAD to lay the acorn, I mean CAD to acorn CNC does not read this. It's just to uh, picture what the pot will look like. Okay, so we've got that done. We, we drew our profile. Now we're going to convert it. So we go to uh, the setup. When you get the program, you have to set this up. Read the instructions. Uh, you have to add a destination uh, directory and folder if you wish. I don't usually add a folder when I'm given a, a tutorial or something like that. I just click on Browse and I select my desktop. Okay. And then I create it. It's created. Okay, now I'm in units. If I'm working in... Uh, Metric, I click that. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Save it. Comes up, it's in metric. What you see up here is what the program is in. There's only one machine controller. Diameter mode seems to be the standard of the industry here, so I, that's why I keep it in diameter. If you don't understand diameter, refer to uh, this. Okay? Uh, going back, I work in an inch, so I click inch, and I'm back to inch, okay? All right, the next step is the, uh, what feed rates uh, are you going to use to cut the pot? This is a, pot is a wood, like oak or maple or something hard wood uh, I'm creating that snowman from. So the options are, this is the free version, feed per minute. If you have the pro, then you would be using feed per revolution. You need a, an, an encoder with that. Okay, so this is the uh, next step would be to click on this. This is the last input. Calculate it. Uh, calculate it. That's all if you wanted to just figure that. You'd enter, say, uh, 500 here. Calculate, okay? But anyways, uh, we're, we're using that. So now the inches per minute. If you want to test your program, then you put in a fast inches per minute. If you're going to cut it, then put in the feed rate that is required. For this video, I'm going to put in 12 inches a minute. That's ten thousandths per rev. Okay, calculate that. Just checking on that. If you want to get rid of all this, uh, reset it, and you can start over. Save it. Down here, everything was saved. But say I wanted to change uh, the feed per uh, per minute. I could go uh, ten, and that's what the program will read. So let's go back to twelve. And then we 
we selected our feed rate. Okay, now here, enter the file name. The extension can be uh, CNC. Add that. Snowman, this is uh, the length and the stock diameter. So the stock is one by three. If, if it was longer, you'd add it here. So that this is the file name. So you enter that. Then over here, you enter your new data. This is the data I entered for the snowman. The nose radius and all that is what uh, ACON CNC needs. The tool number, I had to uh, go to the tool uh, table and set up uh, tool 13 for this because it wasn't in the tool table. So you'll have to do this for this type tool unless you already have it in your tool table. It's a 35 degree straight turn tool as in the video. Okay, so you enter this, you enter your node vector. If you want to, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then click on this and it'll explain uh, the G42 and 41. That's where you enter here. So we entered our stock diameter, the length from the chuck. Now the uh, start plus the clearance. The start is. Uh, usually the stock diameter plus the clearance. The start position is usually the start point that's on the DXF drawing, the lead end. The roughing cut depth is uh, here. The retract is here. You can enter anything here. The X finished amount and the Z finished amount. The last can cycle was this. I could have had a, once you get more uh, familiar with this program, you could probably copy and paste the G72 in. Now this uh, G42 is what I said over here. You can look at that. If the tool is on the left and you're cutting right, it's G41, a uh, 42. If the tool is on the right, cutting left, it's G41. Now this end start number could be a 10 or a 20. Doesn't matter as long as they're different. If you're working in wood, you wouldn't check this. If, if you wanted to cool it on, you would check it. Then all you do is just save it. It's saved to a file, a .ini file called uh, lathe.ini. Okay, so uh, I guess we entered everything we needed. This is all you do. This is uh, what they call uh, conversational programming. I'm asking you a question and you're entering it. Okay, down here, before I get to creating the code, I want to talk about this now. The DXF file, say uh, you don't have a CAD program, but it's best to have one. And you only need to learn a few things. I use uh, QCAD, which is reasonable in price and very powerful. Okay, so you click on this, and uh, it has examples. Here's one here. This is a boring example. All you do is follow that. Another one would be uh, the, uh, say, a, a ball hitch or something like that, or just cutting a ball. This is how you do it. It has a uh, triangle solvers. It's the right triangle. They got two of them. And just follow that. Example three is another. This could be uh, a lathe handle. Or just add another ball here. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want once you learn the program uh, using uh, the triangle solvers like this. And the other one is oblique, like that. And you have a calculator. Okay. You need got all the information you need to uh, create a DXF. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you make a sketch of what you want to do, and then you add the uh, start point and end points into the uh, 
right, right here. Okay, that's enough for that. Now here is the edit the G code. After we create the G code, uh, click on this, and uh, if you want to change anything, you can. The option is QCAD, the default. You can change this, but only uh, .exe's will work. So if your CAD program has a .exe, you can enter it here. All you do is click on the icon. See if I can find the icon for QCAD. Right click on it, click on properties, and this is what comes up. All you do is copy and paste here. Let's get rid of it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, then you paste it. That's it. That's all you have to do. And then you click on it. And it brings up QCAD. Oh, I'm already opened at QCAD. I showed you that at the beginning right here. Okay. Uh, exit. Okay. We, uh, what we have done now is we drew our part drawing in my polyline profile. We uh, use the modify menu to mirror that profile. That's what we've done. And uh, exploded the uh, mirror image. Okay. Uh, well, let's, I guess all we got to do now is convert it. So we open it. I have it in uh, this folder here. I've been using all what I've been doing. And it's called uh, it's called Snowman Design. Click on Save As. Save To. Well, it'll go to here. Save it. You'll, your folder, if you have a folder, it'll go there. Okay, make the G code. Now, these are the block numbers. There's only two. There's a two and a three. Now, if you want, if you wanted to copy and paste something in here, you would change uh, the block numbers to in sequence with the with this. Or move the uh, G code around. Or you have to get uh, proficient in uh, the program when you want to do all that. I mean, you have to know something about uh, copy and pasting. Okay, click that. Okay, program's done. Here it is. Let's shrink this down. This is the program. Okay, this this is what uh, CAD to uh, Acon CNC created. This is automatic. This is put in automatically. Now for Acon CNC, this, when you put a stock diameter in, it's the radius here, not the diameter. This is uh, the length is just okay. It's three inch length, but this is the radius of the stock. Then you have a G28 if you have it set up. This would be like a tool check. Uh, this is what uh, ACON uh, requires for, for a tool change. It's standard. And then here's the tool number. And here's the uh, cutter comp or tool comp. And then here's the uh, rough and retract and the finish on uh, X and Z, I think. I'm not familiar with this set. I'm just learning this program myself. And here is what, between the end numbers, is what CAD to uh, ACON CNC has created right here. This, if you wanted to copy and paste this, you could have enter that into any program you want. Okay, down here you got a G70 finish. 
usually the feed rate is half of the inches per minute. You can edit it here or edit it here. You can edit this program, period. Okay? So that's that's uh, what it does. I mean, uh, you run it in Acorn, and uh, you have a pie. Thanks for watching this video.